I'm Brittany Markham, and this is Damian Markham. Damian is so positive. If I could sum him up in a word, it would just be positive. I mean, you can see he's just, he's just happy to be here. He loves being around people. He's such a light to everybody that meets him. When Damien was born, we thought he was totally normal. There was no indication that there was anything wrong with Damien. His pediatrician asked if, if Damien could do just a routine blood test. The results came back and it showed that he had really elevated liver enzymes. So we went to Children's Hospital and they saw that his liver and spleen were both really enlarged and that can sometimes be something very serious. And so they did test after test after test. Finally, the last page that he showed us was a test. He said, it looks like they were testing for something called Neiman Pick disease. I had never heard of Neiman Pick disease before. And the pediatrician said, oh, don't worry. There are many people with Neiman Pick disease that survive into adulthood. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I thought for sure, this was gonna be an issue where we could take some vitamins and he'd be fine. He was totally normal. But they eventually did confirm, we got the diagnosis, that Damien had the worst Neiman Pick disease, type A, which is also called acid sphingomyelinase deficiency, or ASMD for short. Most babies with this disease pass away when they're about three years old. And Damien just turned three a few months ago in May, so um, it got serious for us really, really quick. We very quickly found out that Damien is the only person in California, I believe the only person on the West Coast entirely with this disease. Being part of the rare disease community now, it's become more and more apparent what resources rare diseases need that they don't get. And most of the funding um, that any of these rare diseases get are from parents who want to try and save their kid. And with this disease being so fast, there's, there's not many. <laughs> um, there's not many that are advocating for this disease. The life-threatening aspect of this disease is Damien's neurodegeneration. So this disease is essentially disintegrating his brain and we want to stop that. Damien has just started a few months ago a kind of a 1.0 level treatment um, that was in development recently. It seems to be showing a lot of promise and the Wilder Nation Foundation's medical team and research team are developing the 2.0 version, which is already proving in their lab to be a lot more effective. They're at a point now where money would make the difference between whether Damien has access to it or not. I asked them and I pressed them how much money could speed this up, how much money could make it so that Damien could have a much higher chance of being able to, to get it. And they said $3 million. And I said, I'm gonna do it. So that's what we've been doing for the past year and a half is trying to raise that $3 million. The name Damien, uh, if I remember correctly, means a master perseverer, um, someone who conquers something really challenging. <laughs> I uh, definitely didn't plan that <laughs> out. Um, it was just a coincidence, but like every aspect of Damien's health, I've had to be a fighter. I've learned very quickly that the healthcare industry is full of people who need things, and the only person who is gonna fight for Damien is me. One of the most amazing things about this whole experience and sharing our story specifically on social media is we have so many um, supporters all over the United States, and I get really touching messages often um, from people who I've never met in person doing uh, bake sales for us and garage sales and posting on their own social medias. It's really blown me away. It's changed my life. It's so amazing to see how good people are. 
and people are inherently good and we see that every single day. I think that's part of why a lot of people continue to follow our story because they're also encouraged by seeing how good people are. Through all of this, I have just been so grateful to have the testimony that families are forever. It brings me a lot of comfort to know that Damien and I are always gonna be connected. I feel like he has this disease for a reason. I don't know if it was Damien's choice or not, <laughs> but if Damien was just meant to come to Earth for a short time, I'm honored that God believed that I could give him a lifetime's worth of love. But I also know Heavenly Father knows how determined I am and how relentless I am uh, to keep my baby around. And I think we'll do it.